Rain is not done yet. It continues around the area right now, this evening, and overnight tonight. By 9 o'clock, temperatures won't change much, still 40 degrees. Still the rain and the north breeze at 15 to 30 miles an hour. Look at Super Doppler 7 radar. It is busy. Widespread rain, some of it heavier in the yellow and orange, and that is moving back up toward the Omaha metro from the south. So it's lighter rain right now. It's going to pick up in intensity here this evening as that heavier band moves up from the south. Not very far northwest of us, just 50 miles or so, there's been almost no rain. Columbus, Norfolk, West Point, and just lighter rains for most of Dodge County. But around Omaha, Council Bluffs, Papillion, Bellevue, Southward, one to three inches of rain so far. And you can see by the way this looks here that moisture is just kind of focused into our area. There's an upper level storm system right here over western Kansas underneath the center of that, cold enough for some snow. But it doesn't quite look like that will be cold enough here for snow. The elevation's a little higher there. There's really warm, moist air feeding in from the southeast, so it looks like we're just going to stay with a chilly rain. Plus, there's a big storm on the west coast. Another one coming in here. That one, as it moves southeastward, is nudging this one out. So that'll give us a chance of precipitation on Tuesday, but looks like it will be north and west of the track of this one, probably bringing its snow to western, central, and northern Nebraska. Well, this evening, the temperatures will hold right around 41, 40 degrees throughout maybe midnight. And then after that, maybe just dipping into the upper 30s with rain continuing through 7 a.m. Let's take a live look with our SkyCam network, a view from 90th and Dodge American National Bank. The Tree of Lights uh, getting soaked, but obviously still telling the story. We need donations uh, for the season to continue. The wet weather out there. 41 degree temperature, north wind at 17, dew points 40. That's not going to change much. Almanac page was 46 just past midnight. That's the high of the day. 1.35 rainfall today. That doesn't take into account the half inch of rain that we had yesterday. Now, our weather watcher, Arlington, Larry Nelson, 1.2 the rainfall today. And again, it's still raining there. You look at the temperatures. Yeah, not cold enough for snow. Everybody around 40 degrees. You've got to get down to the mid and upper 30s. And you watch the storm system. Here's the snow in western Kansas. Here's the surface low. The upper level low lags behind it a bit. But as the surface low moves northeast, it gets a little bit weaker, so the snow disappears. Chilly, rainy tomorrow morning. Kids are going to school. Rain ends pretty quickly after that. The clouds are going to stick around, though. Clouds continue to be with us for tomorrow night and Tuesday. And then that next system coming out of the Rockies. Well, it looks like it'll produce snows over western, central, and northern Nebraska, but the low is going to track right up over ne Omaha, so we probably don't see any snow from that either. 38 tonight, low temperature. Rain heavy at times. 38 tomorrow morning. Rain ending, but probably still wet for the kids on the way to school and you on the way to work in the morning. And then 41 degrees in the afternoon. We actually could get some peaks of sunshine, but still kind of chilly and breezy as the winds will be out of the northwest. Tuesday, lots of clouds around, still kind of cool, but, you know, 44 degrees is above average for this time of the year. We could see a few showers late Tuesday, Tuesday evening. It doesn't, again, look like it'll be cold enough for snow here, and the bulk of the precipitation from that system passes out to our north and west, and then look at the cold temperatures in here for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. Remember to download that KETV WeatherNow app for your iPhone or Android to get the alerts based on your location, the interactive radar, which is so useful in a situation like this with the widespread rain, and the lightning detector. There were lightning strikes around the area. Yeah. Last night, and uh, maybe a couple again here for this evening. Wow. And my cousin, who is a huge Bill Ramby fan, says, Good for him. Sump pump working in December. <laughs> oh, he says, Shut it off.